Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. Over the years I've developed a bit of a collection of hand planes and at Maker Central I got one more and that was the straw that broke the camel's back. I've decided to finally get round to building a rack to store them on. I'm just using some reclaimed timber for that but first it needs squaring up on both sides. So I get it clamped onto my sled and then I pass all the pieces through the table saw. When I've got a clean face on all of them I can then move the fence over, put the clean face along the fence and clean up the other side. When I have all the pieces done and I've got a nice pile of kindling for the fire, I can start gluing up some panels. If you're like me and enjoy using pallet wood, enjoy is probably the wrong word. If you're like me and are cheap and use pallet wood, then one of the problems you'll face is most slats are 90, maybe 100 mil. And often you want something a bit wider. So that's why I've jointed these edges, so I can use my panel clamps to glue these up. I'm actually gluing them up wider than I need, and I have a big off cut that I'm going to use for something else. These clamps I made about a year ago, and they're super handy, and I use them all the time now. They help keep the boards nicely aligned, and then I use the panel clamps, sorry, the parallel clamps, to pull everything tight together. If you're interested in the panel clamps, I'll put a link above and below. And on my tool page, linked below, I'll put the parallel clamps and the star knobs that are used for making these clamps. So when the glue's set up, I can then rip these boards down to 14 centimeters. That's why I want to make these racks, and then it's gonna leave me about 100 mil or 10 centimeters left over for something else. To determine how big and how many shelves this rack needs, I'm just gonna lay out all my hand planes in the order that looks the best, or is gonna be the most efficient to store them. If you're interested in a few more details about my hand plane collection, I've started a second channel, Badger Bites. That's now gonna have Bedtime with Badger on it and a few more behind the scenes details. So it's gonna have things like my planes on it, and if you have questions about tools, maybe I can answer them over there. So please click the link at the top of this video or down below and subscribe if that sounds interesting in any way to you. When I'd worked out how big I wanted the rack to be, I cut the pieces to length on the mitre saw and then used my box joint jig, easy for me to say, to cut the joints. I did a little three part series about this jig, so if you're interested in it, check those videos out. With all the joints cut, I swap out the blade in my table saw to my flat toothed grooving one. Then I can start cutting some dados for the shelves to slide into. On the side pieces for the rack, I just drew some pencil lines, the thickness of the shelves, and then I can nibble away the material. This is a 5mm blade, there is a link to it on my tool page, so I just start with either end of the cut and then I just take away the centre and it gets done in three passes. You know I'm not much of a planner, so instead of working out the position for the planes, I'm just going to hold them up and that will work out the height of the shelves. I can then draw on where the next dado needs to go, take it to the table saw and get that one cut out. When I've cut this slot, I then just copy it to the piece on the other side, cut that one out, then I can just keep marking and cutting until I've got all the bits for the shelves done. With all the slots cut, I give everything a sand before putting it together. The finger joints just get a bit of glue put in and then it all can be put together. Now if you saw my last video things would start to make sense, well hopefully. I was making some clamping blocks, I've got many different mitre clamps but they all go on the outside of the workpiece and with box joints you have the fingers protruding slightly. Normal clamps don't work that well so these ones that go inside I think will work much better for this. With the joint pushed tight by hand, I can get the block in, get one clamp on in one direction, and then get another clamp on in the other direction. It really helps to pull the joint nice and tight and square. After I've used every parallel clamp I own, I leave it all to dry. Glue's dry, clamp's off, now I can measure and cut down some shelves. With the help of those clamping blocks, this whole thing has gone together nice and square, so I can set up a stop block and cut all the shelves to the same length. So first I square up one end, put my stop block down, then I keep repeating this, cutting all the shelves to the same length with no more measuring. 
I get some wood glue put in the grooves down both sides, then I can get the shell slid into place. It's quite satisfying when you actually get things right and they fit in nice and snug. Even though they're fitting in nice and snugly, I got a few clamps on and left it to dry. Well, I didn't quite leave it to dry. I wanted to do one more thing. I need a way of attaching this to the wall. So a scrap of wood, I'm just going to cut down to the perfect length to fit inside of it. I can then partly drill down with a 10mm bit. Then I can fit some of these brass screw cups. When they're fitted, I take a 4mm drill bit and drill through the center. This bit of wood can then get some glue on it and it can be pushed at the back and top of the frame. I get it clamped in place and then I really do leave this to dry. When it has dried, I can then, with a quite aggressive grit, sand the fingers down flush and then use a finer grit to go over the whole thing. I'm gonna finish it with one of my favorite and simplest finishes, just some brown Bryrax brushed on and then buffed off. Now I'm gonna put on the wall above my workbench. I put a spirit level on one of the shelves and then I can get a screw in the center hole. All my walls are 18 mil MDF, so I can get screwed in anywhere. With that center screw in, I can then pivot it on that to get it all level and then I can get the other two screws in place. And that's it all done. So now all the planes can just be put away in their new home. I feel so much more organized now. Maybe I'll do a chisel rack next. So if you're interested in more information on the planes and like to listen to me waffle on rubbish, go and check out my second channel. But either way, thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons, And please subscribe for more videos.